Hi! So today I'm going to be doing another drawing video. Recently I've been practicing more digital art, so here is a draw with me. So I already have this sketch, um, and I use Jenny as my reference here. Here's just a quick time lapse of the sketching process. I've just been exploring how I want to do digital art, so today is just going to be a draw with me video to talk you through my process. So I like to have the navigator open just so I can see my entire sketch when I'm zoomed in. And what I've been doing is just starting with my line art. So I've been using the fine liner tool for my line art. The app I'm using today is Infinite Painter. The app itself is free, but it has a bunch of in-app purchases to unlock everything. So to get the layers and all of these extra tools, you have to pay an extra fee, uh, which was $12 Canadian, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, I'll just go ahead and start doing my line art. I feel like usually when I illustrate, my illustrations don't end up looking like my references. Uh, my references are usually just for poses rather than to make my illustrations really recognizable as the person that I'm drawing. In some of my videos, I had questions about what tools I used for drawing. For drawing with the tab, I just use the S Pen that comes with the tablet. I have found online alternatives like the Norris Digital Pencil from Stedler that I may want to try using in the future, but for now, I've just been using the regular S Pen. I've been using this tablet for just over two months now. Um, and I have been enjoying it. I think it's a good alternative to the iPad if you don't want to shell out the money for an iPad and an Apple Pencil. But I also just like illustrating for fun. It's not something that I do professionally. So if you want to use it for professional purposes, I am i don't really have an answer whether or not this is the one to go for. Before getting this tab, I would use a Wacom tablet hooked up to my MacBook on Photoshop to do digital art. So having this tablet in comparison to that is definitely an upgrade because now I can see what I'm drawing exactly where I'm drawing it. In terms of drawing programs, I do really like Infinite Painter. I first started using Autodesk Sketchbook, but I do think I prefer Infinite Painter because Infinite Painter just gives me a lot more options and tools to use in comparison to Autodesk Sketchbook. So that's all for the line art. Um, usually right after line art, I'll start by shading skin. And I just usually choose a base color and just kind of messily fill everything in.
And then for shading, I like to use clipping masks. So I make one for softer shadows and one for harder shadows. And for softer shadows, I just use a soft airbrush. And then for the harder shadows, I'll use a harder edge brush with a little bit of a deeper color. Shading is something that I have a little bit of trouble with, especially with shading in hair. Whenever I do traditional art, I don't really color anything in, I really just do line art. So it's a process trying to learn and figure out how to properly render shadows. But I think with time and practice, I am getting better. Slowly, but <laughs> I am making improvements. And then when I'm done with shadows on the skin, I'll move on to eyes and I like to make sort of a gradient from top to bottom, dark to light. So next I'll be doing hair and I decided that I wanted to do brown hair for this illustration so I just sampled from the eyes so I have a similar tone and just filled everything in. Before doing shading in the hair, I wanted to fill in the rest of the facial features as well as any shadows that also appeared in them too. Then to shade the hair, I kind of just did what I felt looked right. Like I said, shading the hair is definitely the thing that I find most challenging with digital art. So I just kind of play around with where I want to put shadows and highlights, and if I think that it doesn't quite look right, I fix it. <laughs> It's a lot of trial and error, but eventually I'll get to a place where I'm happy with it. The last thing is to color the clothing, so I'm just selecting everything and filling it in. The last thing I do is just add my little watermark. And this is the final illustration. I definitely still have a lot to learn. There are definitely things I can improve on, but obviously that comes with more practice, time, and experience. So I think it's not too bad for my skill level right now. But that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!